Story number four. What will it take to have a secure and smooth election come 2020? Now, if you if you aren't involved with voting or you don't like to vote, you think the political system is a complete sham, then this story may not be important for you. But if you're an activist and, you, and you're informed and you, think, and you want your vote to count, you take it very seriously, you uh, take notice to all the people who have died trying to get to the polls and represent and fight for democracy, then this story may be what you need to... St to to keep active but the thing is that there's been there was a lot of reports of election interference in 2016 and the the reason why this story is is important is because the federal election commission will be out of commission uh in a not too long so the thing without the federal election commission they're saying that there's a higher chance that uh, that things could uh, go wrong in the election. Now, if you don't know what the Federal Election Commission does, this is a this is the commission that collects financial data, finance data. They investigate uh, potential campaign finance violations. They issues fine. It gives guidance to campaigns about following election law. Um, and uh, that there, there was even I think the commissioner's vice chairman Matthew Peterson is uh, announced his resignation after this week he will be leaving the commission so uh they'll just be having three members so they'll they'll be a little bit under man and they'll be a little bit out of commission but uh but when you look at how they affect the elections to make sure it's a smooth cycle uh people are starting to get concerned because 2020 is just around the corner and we we don't want any interference into the elections we don't want any inter interference into the political uh we don't want candidates gerrymandering you know all the stuff that comes along with how people can rig elections uh you've seen it with they're saying that the uh the 2016 election was tampered with they were tampering with them they were uh, uh going on social media messing with uh, p putting false ads on there so story number four has a, a definitely is a very important story that's why it's at number four because if you remember the nixon the nixon at watergate uh recording uh information and, and tapping people's phones these elections can get out of hand because of what's at stake and that's that's the only reason why story number four is up this high into the rankings because it's a very very pivotal story come election time people will do anything to get the vote they will go into poor communities tell them tell the citizens everything they want to hear they will even go uh tell uh, uh put people who have who are not registered to vote you'll see people knocking on your door uninformed voters so this is a and that's why I, I i encourage you to get informed know what's happening even when it comes to this election because because they will paint a picture they they they, they will find a way to tarnish a party's credentials tarnish a party's image just to get the vote and next thing you know you get somebody in office who just uh, turns everything upside down. So story number four has a lot of potential and uh, definitely will stay alive, especially as we get closer and closer to uh, election season 2020, which is uh, you can start to see they're starting to work their magic a little bit now. And uh, that's why story number four has a lot of kick to it. Uh, you're the media to me, Brian West, where's my duty every week? to give you the top eight headlines developing news stories. If you yourself want to be a contributor, help out in any way, doesn't take much. All you have to do is visit www.method, the number eight, inc.com, methodedit.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, or just read something, or just sponsor a program. Constantly telling my audience that I'm just a mediator, staying in the middle of the news, finding the top eight headlines, developing news stories that are more beneficial to you, the audience, the people who view or are trying to stay informed. So if you yourself want to be a contributor, I'm trying to get you to understand that the media, the journalists, the news outlets, all the people on the front line deserve all the credit. I just stay in the middle for you. And so if you want to be a contributor, help me out. It doesn't take much. All you have to do is visit www.method, the number eight, inc.com, method80.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, or just read something, or just sponsor the program. Every little bit counts. Have no fear, fellow citizens.